We're gonna do it your way. <laughs> yes, dear. It's your wife, yeah, your of wife. Of course, dear. <laughs> yeah. Billy <laughs> James! Where's the beer? Oh, f forgot beer. G, break up with it right now. Welcome back to the channel, guys. Appreciate you guys stopping by to see us. Uh, today, as you can see, we got a lot of stuff going on for the Nova. Um, big expensive parts, not really. This is budget friendly style of cooling. That's, the, that's what we're doing in this video because this old radiator doesn't do a thing to keep this thing cool, I promise. <laughs> um, we got brand new radiator in. This is like a single pass, but it's a better style apparently as far as more like a racing radiator but also picked up a fan because these old style fans don't do nothing. Yeah, this thing's going bubble. It got bent here because that. it killed a cat. <laughs> I didn't do it. It was the old owner. It, it cat. Got, it, a cat was in there, he tried to start it. Rip to the cat. Rest in peace to the dead <laughs> homie. Um, either way though, like I said, we got the radiator in, we got a nice big fan. I believe it's a 16 inch fan so that we're gonna wire that up. It's gonna be really nice. Yep. A little shroud, it came with a shroud. I believe we'll just put it on. Yeah, it'll well. be nice. And then well do the it. trans cooler. Yeah, a little trans cooler. I got a little, it's a little large for it to be a trans cooler, but it, it works. Either way, just want to mount it up in there um, so that way it gets some air from the fan as yeah, well. Yeah, we're gonna just have to do a little custom bar back here. We're gonna get that, that'll yeah. be easy. Either way, to start this off though, we're gonna drain this radiator and everything, make sure the hoses are the right size for this new one. Uh, and then we're gonna go to the store, pick up a couple parts, maybe hose, switch, cause we need a switch for that fan and everything in the car. Um, but other than that, let's get to it. So basically we're gonna take off first part here. All right, next. I think she's gonna come over there. Oh yeah. There she is. With this external trans cooler, it's hoses that go on here. So we just put a hose onto that line and then we can just put the hose right here. So yeah, I'm we not don't running need those. all new lines. These yeah. trans lines run all the way under the block. No, thank you. Yeah, we don't, we don't need not these. Today. We don't need these fancy little fittings right here. Those are optional. When cylinder one through eight go, go away someday, then, then I'll rethink. Back in the garage, Nova. How's she draining? Slow as dirt. We're gonna have to pull this hose. Pulling the hose. She is slow as dirt. Just trickling out. Like That's an old okay, man. I'm pulling another hose too. I, I am not having one of those. Oh, for Dale Earnhardt, you are. We're there back we with Rod. We're definitely reusing this coolant too. <laughs> no, we're not that cheap. Oh, you have something to learn. Oh, she's, and she's going to she's, she's just pour out. She's nice and stuck on there. That hose did you, is, did you loosen the clamp? Is, oh, she's free. That thing is, has become one. <laughs> with this radiator. <laughs> that thing got married back in 1970. <laughs> And they said, I do, for better or worse, oh, till oh, death do you there she part. Goes. There she goes. Put it in the work. Oh my. Oh, she's leaking on the floor. Oh no. Oh, oh. No. Oh, jeez. Oh, I think the concrete's not allowing it to uh, absorb. <laughs> Just two towels, that'll work. <laughs> That's the nice thing about these Novas. Well, any, any old school car, right there. Guess what? She's up. But you kind of messed up. Well, Actually, no, you're fine. Lines. You just got to cut it. I was going to yeah. say we got to undo those fittings, but we don't because on. we're cutting. Yeah. She loose. Oh, yep, yep. There she is. This. Beautiful. Oh! Right oh. in the oh. Oh, you did. Son of a <laughs> but you Let's get trans fluid and coolant everywhere. Just kidding. Yeah. Look at that. Golly jeepers. She's 50. Three years of age. 53. It cracked in here, and that's where it was leaking, but it was oh, so yeah. small. Yeah, you can it was, see it's kind of stained. Well, well <laughs> we did just dump cooling out. was it in, in here? You know, it's it's really, it's it's a little grody, but it's not bad actually. Much room now. Look at that. Room. Now we're going to get this old Flexo light fan, the death wheel. So, yeah, as, you know, you always want to, when you have these, you always want to sit right here and rev the motor. So, yeah, look at the safety there. So look when at, it comes I mean, off, I've seen that on the, on the interweb, the the World Wide Web, um, where people have actually gotten hit with those. They'll fly off and break apart when they're sitting there messing with something, and they luckily survive. Yeah, that's, but because that is a dangerous. This thing's already killed a cat. We need to we need to retire it. All right, so now we're gonna we're putting the good old radiator in, so we can figure out how to run these trans lines. Um, Cameron, easy, and just easy, like oh. water. Like water. Out of the fucking way. I'm gonna have to trim that hose up real quick. Yep. Should be alright. 
All right, is that pretty where... Hold on, hold on. Yeah, mock that up. All right, so Cameron's cutting those tranny lines. We're gonna go run the hose up on the bottom here, and then it's gonna, the hose is gonna come up right here, and then the trans is gonna mount right kind of here. We figured it out, took a, took a second, but in case you guys run this kit, because Cameron was saying he was doing research and a ton of people run this kit, we're gonna have the hoses facing this way. The lines are gonna come in, so you're gonna want, we cut the, the two lines, so the tranny line that went to the top of the radiator is the hot. So you're gonna bring that to the top, obviously, and then it's gonna go through the whoop de doop de through the snake. It's gonna come out here, it's gonna be cool, and then that's gonna run to the tranny, because that is the return line. Here's what we got cooking. Cameron got those lines cut. We put the hose on. So now, what we did, best way, just based on how everything was looking, we ran them up underneath. It's gonna go kinda at the frame. We're gonna have to do something here, maybe try to protect the hoses a little bit. And then we're running it all the way up here. And the hoses are gonna come up here, right where that trans cooler is. It's gonna be perfect. And then of course, we're gonna throw on the good old zip tie. Nothing would be official without a zip tie. Just to make sure those hoses don't uh, come out of place. So next step, you get the radiator Next, right in here. Nice. And then this kit, they say what they got here. I'm gonna show the, show the people. Yes. These go right through the radiator fins. Um, and then there's foam pads that you stick between the trans cooler and the radiator so they don't rub metal on metal. I hate that idea. Personally, I think this is, you're asking for something to happen, but. You ideally want to separate with some form of bracketry, you know, coming you've out seen, from the. You've seen people do this. Motorcycle. Motorcycle. You've seen people do these though. Yeah. So. Yeah. We're they gonna work. Do it. That's why they sell it. They wouldn't sell it if it didn't work. There we go. Beautiful. Look at that. It looks perfect. Good enough. It sits right on. It's nice because the other option was making a bar to go across both sides and then bolting no the train cooler to that. <laughs> and it just would have took, taken up space. So, didn't want to do that. So it went through the radiator, not a fan of it, just because of the fins, but um, they just come right out on the other side. And then we got to look at these here. You put these little nipples that are Let's stuck in there. These little nipples here oh, will yeah. sit right in here and you put it on and there it'll tighten it down kind of like a zip tie. Yeah, and we're only doing two. Um, we're just going to do the two, one on each side because Honestly, it's, it's not going to go anywhere. The one thing, I guess, Cameron, think about, it could rattle and bounce, so maybe we should yeah. actually put all four on. Key action on there. We got to pull those off. So you can put it right on this side here. It's a little stick to it. Beautiful. Just like so. Nipple back in the hole. Hopefully the end here will let me still do what I need to do. Oh, it, it should. Give me a second. There, there we go. go. There we go. There, look at that. So it kind of sits on there. It's, it's not, not the prettiest ideal. thing in the world. But it's really not ideal, but honestly, it's going to get covered by the fan. Mm -hmm. So we'll be perfect. Or the fan will hit it. No yes. harm, no foul. We are uh, mocking up this fan now here. So it's kind of like a universal shroud and everything with this fan. Um, kind of just finishing up the holes here. We're going to put it down. You got them all money? Yep. All right, so it's gonna sit, and he verified the bolt should be mint. Am I straight with you? No, I have to. I have to pull that. I got all the nut and everything on it, but that should be good. So now we're just gonna bolt that up um, before we put it in the fan, and then also we realized with the shroud and everything, <laughs> what we thought earlier with this whole thing, we uh, it's not gonna work. So we actually got to pull this back off and uh, get some shorter bolts, which we were planning on to anyways. But since we had to run back to the store, we're just gonna get new bolts. We were thinking we wouldn't have to and the radiator this radiator hose was not the right size so we got to go there regardless so we're gonna finish getting this bolted up see where this bad boy lands she's gonna be mint oh look at all that room now that's right we gotta come up first in here yep get her up and then push her in golly look at that it just looks so nice. Oh, beautiful. Look at that. Look at this clearance. Then you get this. That's perfect. What's that? What's that phrase? Look at that clearance, Clarence. I ain't never heard that one. 
That's not. That's Maybe on that's you. Riley. Shout out to Riley. Yeah. <laughs> that's on you. Look at that clearance, Clarence. Guys, yeah, so it's the next day. We had to leave off on Monday or whatever day it was. Cameron got all this stuff good. Um, Cameron ran into an issue though with um, these guys right here. Apparently junk. they're junk. They suck. So right here we did the fancy dancy. We used them, but then Cameron, big brain used a, an actual zip tie, put that there, and then put the head of a zip tie so it doesn't come out, because apparently those like to just come out. And so, I put the cushion for the pushing on there, so that way the, the trans cooler doesn't just... Yeah. ...half the radiator. Yeah, you she's know? she ain't going anywhere. It's solid. So now, we're going to work on putting that in, and then fill the coolant, and then we got a new hose, too. We got a new hose down there, well, Cameron. Show, yeah, I showed him the hose on Trim that. that. Yeah, we're all... When you left me for dead here. Sorry. Sorry for blowing up. All right. Um, so yeah, we're going to get this in right now quick if somebody out there since we do have some some generationals up in our videos what mm -hmm. what on there it just said install you know you pull them through the little, little nipples what what is what do those do oh, no i idea. i thought my theory was fan shroud is covering all the air yeah, so that like, when the fan's pulling in this will lay flat so that way air can only come through here i probably sound like an idiot but either way <laughs> We're just gonna throw it in as is, and if they, if somebody comments and says take them out, you know it's gonna blow up the tranny, you know, and I will take it out, I guess. I don't know. Pulled the car out, easier access to get in the doors. Um, Bailey's just pulling out some of the stuff that I, I picked up for this. Well, you know, some wiring 101. Some wiring action. On your host. Yeah, he is the host on this one because Bailey Hawk James. I can wire, but I'll uh, it'll take me a couple days. So, but either way, that's just yeah, I'll throw that down there too. Um, we got a switch with the, with the, uh, it's the, yep, 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 give me, give me, let me show them. Give me. We got a little, little button switch, something cheap for now because. This was the best deal. Right here, all these fuses was like 11 bucks. Yeah. It was a win. 13. Such a win. Either way, like I showed you guys earlier, um, I think it was yesterday though, there's a spot down here, which you actually can see better now, where the, somebody stole the radio up in here. So we're gonna put this up somewhere in here for now, and then that's actually gonna get a full panel and everything. So either way though, we have a, um, what do you call this, the, the fusible link this action? fusible link. Yeah, fusible link, little switch. Hopefully, we were having a, what, a debate on the, the voltage and stuff. We were unsure exactly, so we're gonna kind of- The amperage. The amperage, yeah, we didn't, it didn't show so it on the So we have no idea what amperage we need for this fan. So what we're gonna do, there, there's a way to calculate it out. I don't remember. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna start with 15, see if it blows. If it blows, we're gonna go up to 20. If that blows, go up to 25. And guess what? We got 120 tries and up here. And we got here. a bunch, so we're <laughs> set. We ain't got nothing to worry about. These are the best things ever. If you do a lot of electrical work, guys, you get yourself a Matco. These are the only ones that you want. I, I love Snap-on with certain tools, but Matco, they got it <laughs> locked in here. This is the best thing ever. You look at this, you, you can get a close-up action. You see that? Wire, done. Easiest You're... strip thing. God, it's mint. Yeah, let's just throw it on the ground. All right. Yeah. Look at that. Oh, Perfect. what a guy. So, now, just twist that up. Which, actually, I should take off these gloves because I need I need to feel the when I'm doing energy. electrical. You can do that right there. So, you got the wire poking through. Super easy. Cameron didn't have a crimper. Well, he's got the... I'm going to try these. Honestly, you kind of got a little crimp action right there. Yeah, they got messed up somewhere. Yeah, I don't know what happened, but we're going to crimp that down. Oh. These are officially your wire crimpers. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> Look Perfect. at that crimp. So well, that's gonna go to that. And then we got this guy. We're gonna get this black wire because black equals ground. Good old Matco again for the win. Best things ever. Right, right into my engine bay, that's okay. That's all right, it'll fly out. <laughs> Hook that back up right here. You got the wire through. Cameron's trusty wire crimpers. <laughs> things are mint there we go and then you always do that the thing little, crimps hard you that do thing. the one two tugaroo she's mint okay so we got black we call this the black. plug and play yep the plug and play action now we got these ends cameron right in here i think this is where your hole is for the firewall that's where we're gonna go yep. through so what we want to do is get all of this You can just feed her on We're gonna in go behind there. and then uh, behind here. That'll work. Back here. And Love this. Through. This guy's just doing doing all the you work. Wanna right go, you want to go? You want to pull her through? Go Get under here. Oh, another nest. Fun. Either way, I found them. Okay, pull those through. 
Oh. Oh, oh. What are you wrench in here? What are you dropping over there? Your wrench. Your wrench. I sound like I'm going through puberty. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so. Okay, so we have earth. Ert. Load. Let's load, and then the power will go down here. Look at you. You're going to have the nice, fancy little red button. People are going to be like, well, what's that? You're going to be like, oh, it's just my fan. Yeah, they're going to be like, oh, is that, is that a purge button? No, no, it's my my radiator fan. We'll zip tie up around here, so we're going to probably need right up until here. So we're going to lickety split. Two Look at action. that. Look at that. Up there real slick, real Same slick. Same thing as the other one. So you just, yeah, you do the little crimp action. That's it. And then now this bottom one right here, we just need to find a power source, which camera doesn't happen to have a voltmeter, so I'm going to have to run to my house. Grab that quick. I'm going to grab a voltmeter, and then we're going to find a wire in here that when the ignition turns on, it gets power. Why don't we just keep unplugging wires, turn the ignition on, and then hit the wire against the metal. See if she just blows out all my fuses. No. Oh. Well, the gene, we oh. got we got us some some voltage reading, uh, the, the lightning... Uh, uh, lightning 3000. The lightning tip thing. One. So, so... Yeah, I didn't know. I couldn't remember what ones work, what don't. So I bought three. This is the coolest one ever. So Matco, shout out to them. Oh, you know, dude, they have shout the out. That's only like eight hundred. This is Snap On. No, this is actually very affordable. Snap On, run it. Really nice. So these ones are really cool. You put your finger on the little silver action there. You can go to power, right? And if you're looking in the, you know, in the car, you don't want to worry about a wire. You're like, gosh, does this thing have power? You touch some metal. Ground. You ground yourself through here. Best thing ever, super cool, highly recommend it. Science. This one is cool too. I, I, I can't remember if this one works, but you can do ground, right? So you put this to the ground. I can't remember if this one works. I don't know, I've used a ton. It's Snap-on, they should return it for you, right? I don't, I think electrical Hope only so. have so many warranties. Well, it's only, come on now. It's only $1,100. Okay, right? so this one, you know, you, put, you hook it up to a ground. Oh, it does, sweet. And it lights up and actually shows the voltage. I only got 12 won. This is a brand new, this battery ain't even been ran. Now, hold on. Now you do the power, right? It'll light up, show your grounds too. Look at that. Look you do power that. and ground. You do power and ground. We do it all here. This is snap on. All right. Bailey hooked up body ground on the door there. We're going to so check now, check out some stuff down here. Figure out what, what we what we got here. We're going to we have to throw your, the key on, actually. Yeah, we need your key on. So we got the, all the keys. Let's, let's throw the key in there if I can use my fingers. Key is on. We have ignition. I don't think any of these. Mm -hmm. Must have been for the stolen radio. Nope. So this is why my back's messed up. <laughs> oh, right there, I bet. Oh, come on. Help me. Help me. Can't do it. Apparently, I can't do it either. Why is it so. There tight? we go. All right, now turn it off. Oh, hold on here. Off. Okay, it's still got power. Hold on. Go on. Off. Bingo. Bingo was his name. Oh. This good old pink wire right here. Dude. I knew it. I said it earlier. I said that pink one looks oh, gee, nice. Oh, you got about 10. No, the big pink one. The one we could actually use. It needs enough power. I was right. I was right. Oh, look at all those wires. Look at that. Oh, my lanta. It's right here. We'll get two at once now. Whoops. Now <laughs> I did it. <laughs> now we don't have that circuit, so now your car won't start. No, that's okay. So, what we're doing is basically combining these two wires. So this is gonna go to that other pink end that I just clipped. Yep. And then this is gonna run Weird. off that wire right, right down yander. to this bottom yander right here. Bango was his freaking name. -o. So that, the first end of the pink wire here and then the other end of the pink's gonna connect right here. And then we got our switch to go. We're gonna need to just grab another wire, bring it right up to this side of fusible link. Good thing we got and extra wire. Presto. Alrighty, battery's hooked up. Don't, don't. Sorry. Went what a little are too you far. doing? Went a little too far, gee, sorry. Huh. Power coming out here. So it's not grounding. Okay. So let's here. Follow me. Take a gander at a ground. So there it is. Thing is that thing is a unit. 
That thing is a unit in there. Look at that. Oh, man. She's pulling through there nice, G. On the ground outside, we'll show you where that went, but camera's gonna put in a 10 here on that link. Just see, see what our difference is. See if it pops. Yep, there she went. She popped so she, right away. She a 15. It's a 15 amp circuit. That's, yeah, right she away. hit immediately. She's got a fan. Oh, Shoot, guess what? Cooling time. Cooling time. Yep, now we gotta put cooling in. If you ever do any cooling work, you guys need to get yourself one of these. You got all these adapters. It just sticks right on. You can just pull that out. Got the little stick. Zero spill action. Oh, you much, know how people usually they mix 50 50 you know like they, they they're really careful about it and everything we just do it at the we same time scissor hands this there we go look at that looks 50 50 to me i'm losing on the uh the coolant my g but we're gonna get oh, there no. ain't got no leaks Look at her, she's shaking up. Alrighty guys, so we've been letting it idle for a while, getting it up to temperature. Fans on if you can hear it. Um, we're kind of testing right now, like just uh, fan on and off, just kind of letting it climb temperature, turning the fan on, seeing how drastic it actually does, you know, how much it makes it uh, cool down. We did blow a fuse on the 15 while it was running, so we had to throw in a 20, and it seems to be working just fine now. This coolant though, look how dirty this stuff is. Oh my goodness, that is something else right there. But we're just watching. You were right at like 220 and then I flipped the fan on and it's it's climbing down. It's going back down to like 210, 215 right Perfect. Now. As you can see, look at this guy right here. He's all, he's sitting in the driver's seat. Lucky guy right here. Either way, it's cooling down. Only time. Yeah, look at that, it was at 220. Flip the fan on for what, 15, 20 seconds? She's climbing down almost 200 again. Um, 210, something like that. I can't. Almost at like 210. We're just above 210 right now. And she uses isn't popping, so yeah, it, it must be a 20 amp no. Okay, so we got everything done on the Nova. Cameron just said it got down to 190, which before it was staying at what? Oh, you get you, this thing will climb to 240, sitting at a stoplight for Jeez, 30 seconds, two, four, and holy. then to cool it down, you have to be cruising at That's... mild speed for like at minimum three four minutes for it to even come back down to 200. okay that's ridiculous it was insane yeah so i'm really glad we did this electrical fan for him um that's gonna be it for this this episode guys thank you for watching um what's next shout out everybody for tuning in yeah we appreciate all out. the new viewers on the last video yeah the nova gained a um, ton of followers and and appreciate the love and support yeah we got a lot more yeah. coming with this car and we got some yeah. more surprises in the future um yep. There will be more driving on this car. I know we haven't been able to fit it too yeah. much in. I think like, next like one. you're seeing, you know, we're putting these certain things on that are going to make this thing that yeah. much more drivable. I honestly so. think the next one we should take it to Josh's shop, get we a coat on the floors. So yeah. we should do that. We yeah. really should. So with all that being said, guys, thank you for watching. We will see you in the next one. Yeah. It's coming. Well, we got a surprise for the next one. We're not going to tell you what it is. Again, apologies to it, but the voice, it's terrible. So we'll see you in the next one. Peace.